What's up guys, Tom is back with another Linton's video. Today we have fragrance from R to L Zafron, but before we get into that, just want to say thank you guys again. It is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices. Whether it is that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV, whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, an automobile, on top of a horse, maybe you're watching me during a round of golf, waiting for that jag to swing the club for once. Wherever and however you are watching me, it is an honor. If you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. And, man, please do the comments because I love waking up every morning, especially with these Middle Easterns, that I have no clue on what these fragrances, the name of them, mean. And then some of you guys come in there with a little bit of knowledge for me, and I really appreciate it because, man, I'm a little too lazy to go look up all that and go do research and then write it down and then jot it for this video Man, I just want to get straight to the video. You guys want to smell good. I want to get straight to it and let you know what I think. So, Art Al Zafron. <clears throat> There's a fragrance sitting right in front of me. This one is called the Taj Amalik. The king, the crown, the king, the king's crown. Now, you guys might automatically already assume that this is Dolce & Gabbana, the K, which stands for the king. Hence the crown on top of the bottle. Here's that king right here, okay? Now this is the EDP. I did love the EDT a lot too. I actually traded my EDT away for some other stuff and I kind of wish I had that EDT back. I kind of liked, even though there is that little bit of maturity with the EDP with that added uh, spice in the middle. There's a fresh spice in the middle. I forgot if it's rosemary or um, sage or anything like that, but as beautiful as that is, and it kind of reminds me of Versace Eros the Flame, how the flame kind of took Eros the original and then they added just a little bit of spice to kind of mature it up a little bit. That's kind of what the EDP did with K. Now, I do love K EDT. That was, at the time when it first came out, that was one of those fragrances that I smelled and I was like, wow, it just smells so good, it smells clean, it smells fresh, and everything. But do got the EDP. Eventually, I'll probably get the EDT back because I really did love that one. But here we go. Taj Amalik. Now, I'm not sure if that stands for crown. Maybe that's the, the maybe that's how you say king in the king's crown in uh, Arab, okay? Now, again, this is Middle Eastern, but it is, this one says it's made in France, so not made in the UAE, okay? So here we go. Hopefully, this doesn't mean it's a fake, but there it is. Right there, made in France. Um, fragrance made in France, but does have Art Al Zafran Trading LLC in here. Email the guy at artalzafran.yahoo.com. People use Yahoo still? I, man, I've been using the Yahoo email in a gazillion years since I was in high school. Anyways, let's get into this bad boy again. K has used, honestly, as far as a just a fresh kind of summery vibe fragrance that's different than just smelling super citrusy k was pretty much one of my favorites especially when it released so let's get into this one see if it's any better now this one was like 20 bucks triple traders again triple traders out of illinois go check them out i'll leave the description down below triple traders they came through ordered like six bottles i think it all came out to like 160 was able to use that afterpay fellas if you guys don't have Afterpay or Klarna or Affirm, I suggest you do so. Easy way to get a lot of fragrances at once. Now me, I'm not gonna use this Affirm to buy no $400 fragrance when I can buy like six for 200. I'm not gonna do that. So again, maybe eventually I will get something expensive, but until YouTube starts paying me the big bucks, I'm gonna keep getting these. And even when they do give me the big bucks, I'm gonna be humble enough to still grab these things because these things are awesome. So. King the Crown. Man, big shout out to uh, Aromatics, man. He uh, He's a cool guy, man. He uh, did a video yesterday on a fragrance that probably be on my radar pretty soon. So uh, if you haven't checked him out yet, I'll leave his description down below too. Go check him out. Pretty cool guy. But now take a look at this, okay? Now this is... <laughs> So they really try to go with the crown with a piece of plastic. 
and what looks like a big ass Lego piece. When you guys see this, you guys might just laugh. So put your drinks down, I'll give you a chance. Swallow your food, I'll give you a chance. Pull out of your wife, I'll give you a chance. But take a look at this crown, okay? Here's the original crown. Looks like a crown. Look at that. Nice, nice. Looks like Jerry King Law the War that. This is the crown. And this is what it is. Look at that. I don't know if this is a Lego uh, kids block. Uh, I don't know. This is just not a crown at all. That is just, I don't know what they were thinking with this. Especially Ardo Zafran. They got so many nice bottles out there. And I don't know what made them choose this. That is just horrendous looking. That will not be going in the front of a collection. Not this one. Now, I do like this gold cap. They could have just left the gold and just had a nice flat top. That would have been, that would have looked nice. But adding that just kind of made this thing look bad. Okay, so the bottle actually feels pretty nice. Feels like, um, Feels really nice in the hand, actually. There you go. Got the king on the sides right here. Look at that. Anything on the atomizer? No, but you know what? Besides this ugly cap, everything else looks pretty decent. So let's see what it's all about. I do have the KEDP here. We'll see if it's any different. Now, I did take a look at the EDP notes and then the notes on here. Hopefully, the notes that I've seen on here are actually the honest truth and they're, they're, they're basically what's really in these fragrances again you could probably check this see four different websites that have notes on here and all four of them will be different or all four of them will say the exact same thing like word for word so who knows what this is all about but i'm just going to go into this as if this was a fragrance that just came out as if this was a designer that's sitting on alta and i said oh my god who who made that thing Taj Malik. Let's get into it. It's a pretty weak atomizer and you know already this is definitely that smell is definitely reminding me of K the EDT though. The EDP you can definitely tell there's that little bit of herbiness in it right up in the air this one smells more like the edt in the air and to be honest you guys this is much stronger than the edt already okay now this is a oda parfum i believe and it is but you know sometimes with these middle easterns you can't tell what's a edp edt one of them might be an edc but you guys this is pretty strong this is filling now, the original K was not a room filler by any means. You'd probably have to spray like a good five, six times to get the same effect. But this thing is filling this room up fast. And it smells... It smells like citrusy. It does have a little herbiness in here. I think there, from what I remember, I think there was like some kind of sage in here, which is giving it this nice earthy herbiness, kind of like this woodiness also, if you will. It's kind of got that nice, soft, subtle, fresh smell with those citruses, too. I believe there's a little bit of pepper in here. I believe it said uh, there's some pimento in here, so that's going to give it some kind of nice little spice. You got a you got a fresh spice and some sage, and then you got some pimento kind of giving it that warm spice, too. So kind of getting the best of both worlds. But this was that smell that I really just enjoyed with the EDT. I do enjoy it with the EDP as well. But there's just like this soft, subtle smell on the EDT, the K, that I just really loved. And this is actually bringing those memories back from when I first smelled the EDT. This smells great, you guys. Definitely getting like this earthiness, a lot of this earthiness coming through. So got a little bit of that citrus and that nice little bit of warm spice. Here's the one thing though that it's, it's kind of disappointing now, okay? But one thing I've kind of 
assumed with some of these Middle Easterns is that sometimes like after you smell it a while, now I could be going nose blind. And sometimes that could be the case when I'm making these first impressions, like I'm starting to go nose blind. But then when you smell it, like maybe like, okay, there's 30 minutes later after I've done the video, the smell starts coming back and it starts coming back stronger. So this definitely has that sagey, earthy, almost maybe vetiver, if you will, smell it. In the air, I'm still getting that beautiful original, the EDT, the K. But then when we get closer up, just getting like a not a nice woods, still getting a little bit of that citrus, a little bit of spice. Let me spray this real quick on the right and see what we're working with. See if this, now this could be, well, the sprayer on this one is way better. So if you, you really like a good sprayer and definitely go with the K. So I can't knock the K for that. Now the K, see again, right in the air, the K, the EDP has more of that earthiness in there, that like that fresh spice that you get with, I believe they either had rosemary sage in there as well. When you get kind of closer, you kind of resemble that EDT, the K, the EDT. But in the air, you get that spice, that herbiness, K. Okay? Whereas this one in the air, you kind of got that EDT. So I'm gonna spray it one more time. That's exactly what I remember the K EDT smelling like. You know, here's the thing, you guys. For $20, I'm not sure what KEDT is going for right now because that's my favorite of the two, the EDT and the EDP. I do like that little bit of herbiness that you get with the EDP. That's definitely good. Definitely, again, like I said, reminds me of Edros Flame a little bit, how it kind of matured Edros just a little bit. I like EDT better, and this smells closer to the EDT. And then when you start getting... It's almost like the EDT is the main thing when you smell it in the air, but then when you get closer, you start getting that little spiciness, that woodiness that you get from the EDP, because the EDP smells different in the air, and then when you get closer, it smells a little different, if that makes any sense. These both smell different in the air than on skin. Man, that nice citrus is nice in here, you guys. Nice lemony. You know what? I would recommend this one because for 20 bucks, it's actually pretty good. K, the EDT clone, if you will. Now, this is the thing though. With me, I bought it because I didn't have the EDT anymore. And I thought maybe this would be similar to that. And I'm glad I got it. Now I don't need to get the EDT. But if you do have the EDT, maybe you have the EDP, I wouldn't recommend this. But if you've smelt, okay, either one, EDT or EDP, you kind of like that DNA, that fresh kind of citrusy, uh, both of them have a little bit of woodiness. Again, you like that DNA, but maybe you just don't have the money for Doja and Gabbana K. I would try this one out for 20 bucks, triple traders, you get it in like, two to three days triple traders they ship with amazing speed just like that i would try it out this cap is ugly as heck looks like some kid's puzzle or some kid's art project that's gonna put in their classroom later on in the day but other than that i'm digging this one you guys i like it now it's not the show stopper like the last couple of fragrances have been but that's okay, because I didn't think EDT was a showstopper itself. I just really, really loved it. So there it is. That is Taj Ah Malik, the K, the crown with the baby kindergartner crown right up at the top with the big Lego stick nut. But there it is. K, the crown, Taj Ah Malik, Art Al Zafran. Go check it out. You guys know what this is going to be for spring summer warm outdoorsy type things okay nice for a wedding nice nice daytime wedding you're going to be indoors too which is very nice nice climate controlled uh environment that's going to be nice because a nice little breeze is going to help this fragrance i believe heat is going to help this fragrance so either way 
Now you're not gonna wanna go into the winter outdoors with this. If you're gonna go outdoors in the winter, but you're going inside into a nice warmer spot, then wear this, okay? So with that being said, I'm gonna get up out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys didn't hit the likes, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace.